Hi friends, Christina here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to eat raw vegan naturally. I'll be sharing easy recipes for beginners as well as tips to make this lifestyle effortless, consistent, and fun. Raw food is truly a lifestyle. Vegan is a lifestyle. It is a way of living, not just a diet. It's a passion, inspiration, and commitment to consuming more fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds in their most natural and organic state. People always comment to me that it must be so hard to be raw or vegan. And my usual response back is that once you find your rhythm, it's life changing. It's easy and it's fun. I've been a raw vegan for over 18 years now. Yes, you heard that right, 18 years. So I can tell you that I've learned a lot on my journey and I am just as in love with this lifestyle as I was in the beginning, if not more. And for me, it has only gotten better with time. If you are looking for health freedom and if you're looking for health sovereignty, this is where it's at. We live in a world where it has become normal to eat highly processed, toxic, fast foods with an excess amount of animal products. It's no longer the norm to nourish ourselves with an abundance of homegrown fruits and vegetables. Actually, I have found that going vegan has been vilified to a certain degree. Only 1% of Americans are vegan. Now imagine how many raw vegans are out there. The number is far less than 1%. In my opinion, those seeking a healthy lifestyle or this type of healthy lifestyle have become the minority or even the outcasts in this food arena. It's really important to look at the overall picture when addressing this because we live in a society that does not foster health or wellness. There are too many entities who are putting band-aids over the issues happening right now and instead of focusing on prevention and on foundational health care, they are focusing on sick care. Essentially, this shows that we live in a society that is meant to keep us sick. Rather than seeking solutions to the problems at hand, certain entities are profiting off of illness. If you're watching this video, I consider you to be a health connoisseur because it means you were looking for this information and you somehow stumbled across my videos. You somehow discovered the power of raw foods, the power of eating fruits and vegetables, and that makes me happy because I know that we can make a difference together and that this information can make a difference. It's time to start prioritizing nutrition, animal welfare, organic food, and sustainability. Mindfulness, awareness, effort, accountability, healing, and change are all powerful words to emphasize here. This really gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, let food be thy medicine. How we live matters. What you put into your body is either fighting disease or feeding it. For those who don't know my story, I went from being a type two hyperglycemic to a healthy, thriving, and active individual. This way of eating changed my life. It gave me my life back. I was living before, but never alive like this. Before I began my journey back to health, my belief system was that feeling sick and tired was the normal. Blackout migraines were normal to me. Depression was normal to me. Constipation was normal to me. My high and low blood sugar spells followed by faintness were normal to me. The truth is, none of those symptoms were normal. It wasn't until I began to discover what it felt like to have health freedom that I understood our lifestyle choices matter. I believe that health is wealth. Food is medicine. I believe the way we live has the ability to empower us or to disempower us. And it also impacts the world along with every sentient being. How we live matters. It isn't just about the food, but it begins with what we put into our bodies. Let's bring more mindfulness to this concept. 
My intention is to empower you through your food choices and to teach you how to consume more raw and living foods into your diet so that you can have health and so that you can have more body, mind, and spirit sovereignty. Also, I will show you how fun and easy this can be. This is powerful. Many of you reach out to me all of the time and ask how to go raw vegan, vegan or plant-based, what are the easy and practical steps to take? For some of you, some of the tips and recipes I will share with you will seem oversimplified. However, I've learned that when we are overwhelmed in our daily lives, which can be often, <laughs> keeping it simple, planning, and coming back to what works gives us the most success. It's not always about doing more. Less can be much, much more efficient. If you're committed, this is where it's at. Changing what's on your plate will change your life. Here's a takeaway. This lifestyle can be sustainable and life-giving. It doesn't have to be overwhelming, complicated, or unattainable. I will show you how. I've posted videos before on how to eat a raw food diet and also the best raw food recipes for beginners. I will link those below for you. I have about 800 videos on my YouTube channel for you to dive into to learn more about this lifestyle. Use my YouTube channel as a resource. Also, if you're looking for raw vegan recipes that you can have at your fingertips, please download my Fully Raw Recipe app. I have over 450 raw vegan recipes on my app, and these recipes will keep you motivated and inspired to continue on this lifestyle. The app has everything from juices, smoothies, salads, dressings, soups, dips, desserts, and more. It even customizes your shopping lists, and I just added a new 14-day meal plan to my app. Spoiler alert, very soon I will be hosting live interactive calls on my app so that you will be able to join. Some cool new features are about to be rolled out so you don't want to miss out. My app is available on iTunes and Google Play and those links are below for you. I hope you enjoy my app. Please go give it a download now. So let's talk about how to make this lifestyle natural for you and provide you with the best tips so that you can transition with meals, quantities, and more. Let's start with my most important key points. Eat one raw vegan meal a day. Consume a juice, smoothie, or salad. Get into the rhythm of eating more raw meals. Find two to three recipes you love and repeat them daily or weekly. The more raw vegan recipes you include into your daily routine, the easier and more natural this way of life will become for you. Stock up on fruits and vegetables. Make sure you have a full fridge of options available to you. If it's in your home, you'll most likely eat it. That goes two ways. So be sure to also get rid of anything that you don't want to eat. Set yourself up for success. Try eating fully raw one day a week. If you've ever heard of meatless Mondays or plant-powered Fridays, why not create your own fully raw Friday or commit to eating raw vegan one day a week? You can plan ahead and make it a fun day of eating for you. Eat enough calories. The number one mistake people make in this lifestyle is they do not consume enough calories. Fruits and veggies are higher in water content but lower in calories, so you need to eat more volume to get the calories you need if your energy starts to drop. Feeling tired or fatigued is a sign you need to increase the calories you're consuming or get more rest. Check out my inner circle or online programs for more specific guidance. Create schedule and rhythm. You have to think one step ahead. You have to plan out your ingredients and meals in the beginning. Create new habits for yourself. And you have to practice these habits enough that they become a natural rhythm for you. Don't go with the flow in your days when it comes to eating raw vegan if you're new to this. That's not setting yourself up for success. That's leaving things to chance and hoping you'll have the time management skills and options in the day to achieve this. Life happens, or life is in session, so I say. So try to prepare ahead of time and plan out different scenarios. Map out your options. 
If you don't, you'll find it's easier to grab for anything at the end of the day that's convenient. And oftentimes I have found that the things that people end up grabbing at the end of the day are the things that they regret eating. Set your non-negotiables. What are you looking to achieve? Is it going raw, going vegan? Set your ultimate goal and then also set your bottom line so that you don't go below it or beyond it. Setting your non-negotiables helps you to create better boundaries for yourself. This next one I can't stress enough, have backup plans for your social settings. Never leave it up to chance. I really cannot emphasize this one enough. Prepare for social events or settings. Eat beforehand or make sure that you have food options available to you that you're comfortable with eating. It can be challenging in the beginning of your journey to stay strong in social settings. You don't have to compromise your desires or goals. Have a plan A and a plan B. You'll be so grateful that you did. Practice creates ease. We've heard the phrase, practice makes perfect. And in this case, I like to say, practice creates ease. The more raw vegan recipes you make and the more days you eat raw, the more ease-filled this becomes. Then it gets really fun. Nourish, not punish. I created two full masterclass videos on my channel on how to curb cravings and overcome food addictions. If you struggle with cravings, self-sabotage, commitment, overeating, undereating, food addictions, or even bloating, watch these videos. I've linked both of them below for you. Don't be afraid of eating the same things on repeat in the beginning. Find the recipes you love and enjoy them. You don't have to make a million recipes in the beginning, just a few that you love and that you know you can stick to. Over time, your repertoire of recipes will grow naturally for you, and you'll learn how to prepare more recipes with ease. And lastly, create a daily structure. Juice, smoothie, salad. When all else fails, stick to my basic meal plan of enjoying a juice in the morning, a smoothie for lunch, and a salad for dinner. That's what I do pretty much every day. That's a pretty easy formula to remember. Have fun with it. Now that I've shared those lifestyle tips with you, let's discuss five simple raw vegan meal ideas you can enjoy at any time. The easiest and quickest way to enjoy a meal on a raw food lifestyle is to mono meal. A mono meal is simply enjoying a meal of one type of fruit at a time. When in doubt, eat fruit. It doesn't get much easier than this. Fruit is nature's candy, and it's also nature's fast food. Give this video a thumbs up if you agree, fruit is fast food. I think people get so wrapped up in thinking they have to make something complicated when they go raw vegan that they forget it can be this simple and it can be this easy. I mono meal all the time, especially when there's a fruit that I love that's in season. The secret to feeling full is to make sure you're eating enough of that fruit to get enough calories and to feel satisfied. In the raw food world, fruit is considered to be a carbohydrate. So think of it as filling up your fuel tank for the day. Fruit gives you energy. If you have a problem with eating lots of fruit or if you're worried about the sugar content, then simply eat your fruit with greens. So many people are afraid of eating fruit because we've been programmed to fear fruit. It's not that fruit is the problem, it's everything else we are eating with fruit that can make fruit the problem. When you're raw vegan, you need the fruit to be your main source of carbohydrates. Otherwise, where will your calories come from? You can pack up fruit and bring it with you on the go. It doesn't get much more simple than this. I recommend enjoying these types of meals in the morning so that they can give you energy to get through your day. Also, the goal is to have fun and to enjoy what you're consuming. Eat what you love and also find the blessing in it. I think it's a gift to be able to enjoy the bounty that nature provides for us. Smoothies and nice cream. The next step up from mono meals or bowls of fruit are smoothies. I love smoothie bowls and nice cream. If you're just now starting to create your raw food kitchen, the first appliance you'll need is a blender. And my favorite blender is the Vitamix blender. You can do everything with this machine. 
If there was one appliance you had to start with in your kitchen, I would get a blender. A juicer would be second. I have the A3500 and I love it because it's a two-in-one machine. The A3500 base allows you to exchange the blender head with the food processor attachment. So you can blend and you can food process. It's a game changer. This is my most used kitchen appliance apart from my juicer and it is so helpful to have in the kitchen. This is an Evergreen sales link. It will take you to their sales page with their best deals and the link in the description will give you free shipping off of orders of $50 or more. My favorite smoothie bowl recipe I've been enjoying lately has been my mean green smoothie machine. I blend frozen bananas, Sun Warrior vegan collagen protein building peptides, yes this is raw, Sun Warrior super greens, fresh coconut water, frozen mango, barley grass powder, and chlorella. It's healthy, super satisfying, and delicious. I can't go a day without my smoothie bowl. It gives me so much energy. Juices! <laughs> Once you get the hang of making smoothies, then dive into making fresh juices. I can't talk about raw vegan recipes and not mention juicing. I am a huge advocate of drinking freshly pressed juices. I enjoy 32 to 64 ounces of fresh juices, mainly green juices, every morning, and they're a staple for me every single day. I have so many videos on juicing on my YouTube channel and recipes that are in my app. I invite you to check them out and watch a few videos. When made properly, the right juices can be an easy meal replacement for you. And you can batch juice and prep these juices ahead of time. You can always tailor these combinations to meet your needs. You will need a juicer to make fresh juices and my favorite juicer is the Nama J2 juicer. You've probably seen me use it in my videos before. It's the juicer I have in my home. It's the one I love and recommend. Honestly, I think it's the greatest juicer of all time. The Nama J2 has a wide open hopper that allows you to load in whole ingredients, close the lid, walk away, and when you come back, fresh juices are made for you. It saves you time, effort, money, and prep. It's simply revolutionary. You can get $55 off the Nama J2 juicer using the code FULLYRAW55 at checkout. And that's linked below for you. I love juicing and I hope you love it too. Salads and rainbow wraps. Eating a salad is such a huge part of a raw vegan lifestyle. Consuming abundant types of dark leafy greens is so important. What I have found is that it's all about the dressing, the secrets in the sauce. When you have the right recipes, of dressings or sauces to make for your salads or wraps, it changes everything. Eating salads doesn't have to be boring. Once you get used to consuming greens on a daily basis, you will begin to crave your salads. I love to eat my large salads for dinner. They are so satiating and filling. There is a lot of protein in greens and I enjoy eating more savory meals at night. One of the best things about raw foods is that you get to eat the rainbow. There are so many varieties of fruits and vegetables that you can use to create any masterpiece. I've been 100% illness free for 18 years and I can tell you this works. It's not a pill. It's not a surgery. It's not a quick fix. It's a choice. It's an awakening. Yes, it is a commitment and a dedication that requires some unlearning and effort, but the results are far greater than you can possibly imagine. I want to thank those of you who have been on this journey with me since the beginning. And I want to thank those of you who are new to my channel and just beginning their journey. I'm just glad to know that change is happening. We are the change. If you have liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more goodness to come. If you're interested in downloading my Fully Raw Recipe app, if you're interested in getting a Vitamix blender or a Nama juicer, please check out the links in the description below. I've included so many reference links for you there where you can reference other videos or resources I talked about in this video. Please check them out. I truly believe that things are changing and it is an honor and a pleasure to be on this journey with you. I look forward to all that is to come and thank you again for being here with me. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video, sending you my hugs and my love.